Finding a GPU at a reasonable price is still incredibly difficult, but it's not impossible. Let's do this. Are you a champion in the making? Yeah, I mean, my mum always calls me a little champ, so... Then you need the new Corsair Champion Series K70 10 keyless keyboard to heighten your gameplay and really kick the competition's ass. So I'll be an even better gamer if I get one? Yes, thanks to the 8000 Hz Hyperpolin, a durable aluminium frame and a tournament mode switch that disables the macros and lighting for those intense gaming sessions. You'll be tearing up the battlefield in no time. Wow, I can't wait to show everyone my sick moves. Yeah! No, no, stop that. Stop that now and click the link in the description below. Seriously, stop dancing. <laughs> if you want a GPU, you can find one, but it's certainly not as easy as it used to be. You can't simply go to your favorite retailer or website and select the exact model you want, like the good old days. Now, I don't wanna delve into why this is as we have a whole video going through all of that, including when it's likely to get better. So definitely check that out for a bit more of a kind of understanding on the why, the when, and of course the where. So how does that help me now, I hear you ask? Well, as you're probably aware, limited stock is making it to retailers and you can find good prices. You just have to be smart and fast. Now, it's important to set expectations and be realistic about all of this. You are unlikely to find cards at MSRP, and certainly no less than MSRP. The market has changed drastically in the last few years due to shortages, mining, and scalpers. This means that the demand is larger than what can be supplied, and new life is given to older generation cards. And this all drives prices up even more. But this doesn't mean that all hope is lost. There are actually some things you can do to maximize your chances of getting a new GPU. Firstly, there are waiting lists for both online retailers and physical stores. If you don't wanna spend time actively trawling for a ton of different sites, sign up to these lists and even call up your local stores. You may just be surprised. There are also websites with live updates such as Stock Informer, which actively tracks stock levels and will notify you in real time when stock is actually available. Now, of course, if you're a little bit more prepared to be a bit more proactive, I would advise this. Open up every single online retailer that you're comfortable buying from. Select their graphics card categories and filter, if possible, to show available stock. And then sort pricing from low to high. Once done, simply add each of these retailers to your bookmarks. Then at least a couple of times a day or however frequently you want, spend a few minutes checking these links. It may take some days or weeks, depending on kind of how picky you are, but you will eventually find something. And that's based on our own experience of doing this for about six weeks or so. They are available, they are there, just takes time. Now be warned, it's not all rainbows and sunshine. You may have to pay an additional 10 to 40%, but until manufacturers are capable of meeting the demand, which may not be until 2023, prices will not drop to levels that we've come to expect. If you do need a GPU and you can't wait, support reputable retailers, not the scalpers. If scalpers can't make money, they'll have no reason or capital to invest in more stock. Simple. By supporting scalpers, you're actually sandbagging any progress and are complicit in taking GPUs at reasonable prices away from others. So please don't do this. And remember, if you do buy from unofficial retailers, you may also be waiving your rights to return the product should you have any problems, as most manufacturers, they won't actually transfer their warranty. Another option is from the brand's web store. Over the last few weeks, we've noticed Nvidia, at least in the UK, dropping a spattering of Founders Edition cards of all different ranges, and albeit at random intervals. Again, get this bookmarked. The time spent clicking on a bookmark link could potentially find you a Founders Edition card for MSRP pricing. Now, I know that everyone wants to build their own PC. It gives you a sense of pride and achievement, but if you can put all of that to one side, it's actually worth looking at a pre-built. Most retailers also double up as a system integrator, like Overclockers, Scan and their 3XS systems, eBuyer with AlphaSync, and many more. Of course, on top of that, you have fully fledged SIs like CyberPower, NZXT BLD, iBuyPower, PC Specialist, and the list goes on. I mean, their main interests lay in trying to sell you a variety of components, and therefore, they can afford to potentially give you a deal on the GPU as they're actually gonna be making up for it in other areas like the CPU or the motherboard or case or power supply. Again, there are deals to be had and that's definitely worth a daily check. 
Laptops. I would have said that this is a great opportunity to get a system that can play the games that you want, do what you want and work out ever so slightly cheaper. But prices of these have even started to rise. And I know a laptop isn't for everyone, but I used a laptop as my main PC for the best part of two years with a single large monitor plugged into it. So not all hope is lost. Again, if you can check what's available and potentially find a deal, they are there, but you have to look for them. Now, if you're on the other side of the pond, then you have Newegg and the all important Newegg Shuffle. For anyone who doesn't know what that is, you basically sign into their website, select the products that you're interested in, and you get put into a kind of lottery type system. At a time of drawing, if you're lucky enough to be selected, you'll have about two hours to continue the purchase. And again, we've seen cards at MSRP pricing, but it isn't always the case. So what if these cards at their potentially inflated prices are kind of out of reach for you? Well, you can also, of course, buy used GPUs. But as stated earlier, the used market is as competitive as it's ever been. And so I wouldn't really expect the pricing to be drastically better. However, if you're open to this, definitely check out the likes of Facebook Marketplace and Gumtree in the UK, as well as Craigslist in the US for deals. Some people will also be happy to ship your products, so don't be afraid to potentially look outside of your own area. But definitely, and I say this very, very carefully, definitely, definitely beware and be cautious of scams. It does happen. If it looks too good to be true, it probably is. You may actually find someone selling a system with a decent GPU in it for not much money. Put this down to, I don't know, parents who maybe aren't as tech savvy and think their pricing is reasonable. And that's where you could potentially capitalize and then, you know, sell the rest of the system for parts or maybe even reuse some of them. Again, there are deals to be had. Another option in the UK is CEX or Computer Exchange who offer a two year warranty on their used products. Their prices are maybe not as low as they used to be, but they are definitely a viable option with frequent stock. Of course, another option is eBay. eBay is kind of the go-to for used products. So again, expect it to be the most competitive. Whatever you search for, abuse those filters. I would avoid getting into a bidding war and prioritize new listings, but you can set up bookmarks for both. The more specific you are with your search and filters, the more relevant listings you'll see. I would suggest the graphics card category, of course, item location, your maximum price, avoiding scalpers, and item condition. This gives you the opportunity to snipe some auctions if the prices aren't too crazy, and potentially see some buy it now listings before anyone else does. In my opinion, it's not worth following fresh auctions with days left, just as it's not worth looking at buy it now listings that have already been seen by hundreds, if not thousands of potential buyers. Also, don't be afraid to make a seller an offer. You might just be surprised and well, the worst thing they can say is no. Remember, you can also see the prices of sold items to gauge what you may be likely to pay. Again, use those filters. Just watch out for those people selling boxes for extortionate amounts and buyers just, you know, simply not realizing. Another option, at least in the UK, for used cards would be the OCUK forums. They are renowned for their marketplace, and from what I believe, there are things in place to stop stupid amounts of profiteering, and therefore it could be a great place to snap up a deal. You also find that by having a forum account with marketplace access, every so often overclockers will give you the opportunity to buy a brand new card from their retail store. To everyone else, these cards will be listed at stupid prices, sometimes 10 times over what they should be, therefore giving something back to the loyal fan base. We'll be posting all of our bookmarks to these places that we check on a frequent basis down below. So feel free to copy them, put them in your own bookmarks folder and you never know, you may just get lucky. I've seen too many people on our social media channels and our Discord complaining that they just missed out on an amazing deal because they hadn't checked in a few days. The odds are that the more you check in terms of frequency, the more likely you're going to actually find something and potentially for a price that is a bit more reasonable to you. We will, of course, over this whole kind of holiday season, put up any deals that we may see on our Twitter and our Facebook, as well as our dedicated deals group on Facebook. So make sure you're signed up to them. You never know, we might be able to find something for you. Again, all of the links are in the description below and that, well, that should pretty much cover it. Now, I know this may have been obvious to a few of you, but hopefully this helps some people out. Based on everything we've seen ourselves, it is possible to find GPUs at prices that aren't stupid. You just kind of need to know where to look and to, well, have a little bit of patience. Either way, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, you know exactly what to do and I'll see you in the next one. See you later guys, bye bye.